Okay, last one for solving when they're equal to zero, okay? Now these are just the ones that you've been doing regular factoring. Remember, you know, trial and error or the AC method. So I've just repeated some of the questions that you've got on the other paper, but um, put them equal to zero. So again, if you're doing the trial and error method, okay, let's go back to your paper. You've already got these done. There we go. Only difference is equal to zero. So 7x with an x that'll give me 7x squared okay so what will give me 2 that's the start will give me 2 at the end a 2 and a 1 just watch where you write them okay and to get the negative 5 that one has to be negative that one has to be positive if you foil everything okay go, go back and look at the previous videos on this you'll get that particular question all the difference is, is now remember here we go x can equal 1 here, right, I've got a 1 there, I get a 0. And if you do the shortcuts, remember this is going to be negative 2 over 7. But if not, remember, just put that 7x plus 2 equal to 0 and solve for it. You know, take away 2, divide by the number next to the letter. Okay, so I have to write it negative 2 over 7, comma, that's a 7, folks, 7, comma, 1. Alright, those are the two. I'll just do this one, uh, or this one, whatever, it doesn't even matter, they're all the same now, okay, you've done them before, parenthesis, 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 they're now equal to zero, right, 10x squared, let's go for 5x and 2x, okay, a 6 at the end, let's go for 3 and 2, but I'm going to put the 2 here, and the 3 here, you know, because I know that's going to work, you know, just check it to make sure when you do the foil you get that. Um, now, I need to get to plus 6, okay, so it can either be 2 positives or 2 negatives. Remember, this is the clue, I need to get to negative 19, so it's the 2 negative version. So the answers are going to be positive 2 fifths, just the shortcut, remember, change the sign, second number over first, change the sign, so it's positive second number over first and again I'll put the comma in and put them in there there you go and that's the two answers okay so that's how you do those you know it's just the slightly harder factoring but then put them both equal to zero think about what makes these zero okay